What's going on, y'all? So listen. Why stuff start getting somewhat good when I'm getting ready to just say, fuck this shit, okay? Um, I hold fast to what I said. We not doing this next season. But, baby, this was a cute little episode. I was like, y'all dragging this shit out. But then again, it felt like it was going on and on. And I had looked at my clock. And it was only 7.34. I said, wait a minute, bitch. It felt like I've been watching this shit for an hour already. But, anyway, this is Empire Season, um... Oh, season five, episode 16, Never Doubt I Love You. Um, So the episode starts off and everybody is being interviewed in the Lions family. Cookie and Lucia is talking about their relationship. Lucia, uh, Cookie's getting in on the defense about her marriage or whatever because they're doing this piece on Jamal and Kai. And, you know, Hakeem's giving his advice, giving his opinion on what love is. And, you know, you got Andre. And I was just sitting there like, whoo, Andre, please don't pass out in the middle of this interview. Don't cause a scene, okay? But um, he didn't do that. He, he, he was good today, okay? He's having a good time. You know, he's in his good spurts and everything. So, at this point, you get Jamal and Kai having a, um, you know, conversation about their relationship, about how they met, all that stuff. Next thing you know, the reporter come out and she was like, so, y'all talking about how all lovey-dovey y'all are, but what about this, um, somebody put out an email saying that you didn't want to really have this wedding, you trying to, um, use the fact that he got HIV and um trying to stop the wedding or whatever because he didn't disclose it to you and all this shit. And we all know that's not true. The who I don't at the end of the episode, we really don't know who sent the email and who put it out there and who, you know, tried to put his HIV status out there. We don't know because Kai, he never denied it, but he was never one for the cameras and stuff like that. So he never really put it out there for, you know, um, just to put it out there that he had HIV. That's his own personal choice. And he didn't have to if he didn't want to, as long as the people that he's fucking around with. They know, and that's exactly what's happening, okay? It's not like he's out here just spreading the shit, but I'm sitting here like, um, could have been the parents being on some shady shit. They want to have uh, the wedding for real, for real. Could have been the ex-boyfriend or whatever because he was on some jealous shit. Like, I don't know. We never found out who did it, and I don't know if we're going to find out who put it out there, tried to sabotage the whole relationship. But what wound up happening, um... You know, <clears throat> they getting ready for, they was like about to have an engagement party um, right before the wedding because they want to go ahead and get married and all that shit. And so, you know, Jamal was talking to Cookie and then Lucius comes in and, you know, he wants to, he wants Lucius to walk him down the aisle. Lucius is like, nah, bruh, I'm doing enough as it is. And during the interview that they was happening, having the reporter had brought up, what do you feel about and what do you say to that young black boy that's living in this rural Nebraska town who has a father that does not understand um, that he's gay and don't get what it's about and is negative about it and all this shit. So he has a flashback to when, you know, he came downstairs when he was a kid in the, um, women's clothes, the shoes and the um, scarf, and then when Lucia threw him in the trash. Um, you know, he was just telling him to be yourself and don't be too hard on yourself and live through it and all this shit, which was a good message. Um, and that's why he wanted Lucius to, you know, he felt like they come a long way in their relationship because when the show first started, Lucius was an asshole to Jamal, a straight up asshole, you know, and now he, it seemed like he did not a complete 180, but like he, um, a hundred degrees. I'll give him 110. He almost there, okay? No, let me stop that. 130. No, I'll give him 145, okay? He's almost there. You know, and I only give him that because he didn't want to walk him down the aisle um, because he just didn't feel like that that was, you know, you you you, you didn't want a traditional wedding or whatever, and you already wanted to do stuff out of the box, so why you want me to walk you down the aisle and all this shit? And he trying to underline, you know, say that he uncomfortable with it because he's still not, you know, here for the homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? And so Jamal gets in his feelings. Um, Cookie say, bitch, you fuck this shit up and you make hurt my son again. We, I'm going to hurt your ass, okay? Bet that, you know? So they have the little engagement party and Kai's family's there. And, you know, they get along with Lucius and the family or whatever. Um, Tiana was there and told Hakeem that she's going to the wedding with Devon, uh, with Devin. And... 
Okay, it is divine. Get the shit right, bitch. Um, and he up in his feelings or whatever. And Maya gonna suggest that she go to the wedding with him. Like, I don't like Maya. Maya is just a snake and she's an opportunist, okay? I mean, her mama was peaches, uh, pound cake. So, you know, it is what it is. Them, them jeans popping out, okay? She an opportunist. And it's just really disgusting the way that she doing. Like, bitch, you letting yourself go this person, that person, and that person. Same thing with Tiana, girl. So you flirt with Blake, make him feel like you want to do something, um, leave him on a little bit, go fuck around with Carlito, and then go and try to get somewhere serious with Devon. Girl, okay. Um, Becky comes in there and tell him that, um, uh, tell Lucius about the fact that, you know, we got to do something else besides this wedding to distract people from the fact that, you know, the tour has stalled. And remember, at the end of the last episode, um, the FBI chick, Conway, that bitch, that racist ass bitch, you know, she lives in Trump America and she thrives in it, bitch. Okay. And, um... <laughs> She shut the chore down, trying to look and get them on some drug trafficking charges and stuff like that. And so, you know, um, Lucia said he'll take care of it. And at the end of the um, night, you got Damon Cross brings his ass to the house and he brings the picture, that big old picture that he took from Cookie and Lion, um, Lucius for a payment that Thirsty gave him, okay? And... You know, he in turns get invited to the wedding by Jamal. Lucia's looking like, what the fuck is the motive? And how the fuck did you get this painting? Cookie on edge like, nah, bitch, he can't come. And it was like, come on, let him come or whatever. And so he just being messy, messy as hell. And I was like, I knew this shit was going to happen, girl. You don't fuck around with a dude like him and think that, oh, just because um I said, I don't want to, you know, he going to respect my boundaries. That ain't going to happen, okay? So, you know, they have a little bachelorette party, bachelor party for um Jamal at um Leviticus and, you know, having the male strippers and some drag shows and all that stuff. And it was cute or whatever. They put um Jamal up in his chest, strapped him down. This dude was just, um you know, dancing all up on him, dingling all up on his leg and shit. I was like, ew, you know, male strippers, I feel some type of way about y'all sometimes. I'll be like... Mm -mm, I don't get it, but okay, you know, it ain't for me to get. That ain't my ministry, so whatever, but get your paper. And it was like, what my husband gonna think about this? And my husband come in here and he see me like this. And he was like, your husband? And he was like, I know that voice. He was like, oh, Kai, you did this. I said, bitch, that was kind of cute. That was kind of cute. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay, Kai, you get a point. You get a point. Then we get thirsty going over there to Conway's office talking about some bitch. We got an injunction. You got to stop um, doing what you're doing. Put everything back in place in their tour and leave my client alone, okay? Because, bitch, you know, he basically blackmailed a judge or whatever who liked to send pictures to little girls and all this shit. But, um, you know, she took it upon herself to go and say, I'm going to check that ass. I said, this bitch, she just gets on my goddamn nerves. She really does. Um... Kingsley come to the party too. And so, you know, they were trying to tell him Andre had invited Kingsley to the um the bachelor party. And of course, everybody has an attitude but Andre. He was like, Y'all need to chill out. We need to um, you know, life is short. We need to go ahead and start acting like we family or whatever. And Kingsley, you the oldest now, so you need to take the helm and all this shit. I said, What's going on? It sounded like it was it was foretelling of things to come later on in the episode because it just sounds so dark you know the way that he was saying like it's your turn to take over whatever because you the oldest and i'm like andre where the fuck you going okay you just gonna leave him with the shit no i don't i don't like that um moving on from that uh what wound up happening becky fucked the stripper or at least she let him kiss on him or whatever Lucius was about to get ready to go or something, and then Conway picks him up, trying to get him on some charges. Like, bitch, I was a fan of yours, you know, snitch bitch. He said, bitch, you need to go and listen to the other song about I shot a fed a couple of times, okay? 
I was like, oh, because he was like, if you got all this evidence against me, you would have been had me in, um, you know, custody and all this shit. You want me to snitch on, um, you know, Damon Cross or whatever, but it's not going to happen. So you might as well just ain't eh, eh, on the own name of that. OK. And so at this point, you know, um, they're setting up for the wedding, making sure everything is all together. Cookie is with the wedding planner and everything. And so Damon comes in there talking about, you know, why he there. Um, he still miss her, all this shit. They're a little bit too close and they talking about their relationship and what was going on. And Jamal overhears and sees some stuff, okay? And she had to go over there, try to clear that up. He gets in his feelings a little bit. I said, boy, let it go. Let it go. You know, don't let this ruin your little, um, special day, okay? And so they getting ready for the marriage to happen for the wedding to happen and you know they're 30 minutes late because lucius is not there and he finally shows up and J jamal was you know um he was going crazy because he was feeling like damn he really gonna flake on me he really not gonna walk me down the aisle this fucked up but lucius comes in at the last minute and was like the feds pulled him up you know and he was like fuck all that shit um i'm about to come here and do this whole wedding with you we walking down the aisle the wedding happened bitch Shaka Khan is singing a wedding song while they coming down the aisle at the church. I said, bitch, look at Shaka. Okay. And then once they finished, they had Becky officiate the wedding. I was like, she must have got ordained online. But anyway, moving on from that, um, Kai, they get ready to say their vows, okay? Kai gets up there <laughs> and Kai started talking. I'm sitting here like, Oh, is my eyes watering up? Because his eyes start watering up. And I'm sitting here like, this is cute as shit. And then I thought it wasn't going to get no better than that. Jamal was about to read his vows. And then he said, no, nah, bitch, I ain't finna read these vows. I'm finna come straight from the heart. And then he starts saying, I said, bitch, you know what? Jamal, why the fuck you had to fuck up? Because listen... <laughs> This is last episode. They had to make it good. That shit was cute and emotional as fuck. I said, look at this. Like, bitch, I want to get married now. Like, what's going on? You know, it was really nice and really beautiful. I said, oh, it turned my heart to mush. Okay? I said, bitch, not again. Don't ever do this to me. Don't ever. You know, so at the end of that, um, they go to the party now earlier you know andre and the family was together with um terry and they was talking about some why don't y'all get married why don't y'all have kids and all that stuff she was a little hesitant he didn't really want to do that yeah he was like you know he happy with where they at i was like oh okay that's how we gonna play this you know and so um let me see am i skipping some sh good stuff so they go to the reception um, they having a good time. They had a first dance at last song by Josh Stone. Okay. And then everybody gets on the dance floor. You know, um, Hakeem sees Devon over there. And instead of just, you know, acting an asshole to him and Devon was about to talk to him, you know, man to man out of some respect. He just said, let me dance with my daughter. I was like, okay, Hakeem, you growing up for now, you know. And then they, um, Jamal and Kai sees the New York Times um, writer who was talking to, to the family at the beginning of the episode. And Kai said, we decided that we you can run any and everything that you got. Okay, you can run my HIV status. It doesn't matter. I'm not ashamed of it. It's a part of me and it is who I am. And my, my husband know and it's all to the good. You can do whatever you want. And so, you know, Cookie went over there to, you know, make sure everything was cool between her and Jamal. And he was like, don't even sweat it. I ain't had no right going off on you. It is what it is. Um, at this point, Kingsley comes over there and was talking to Cookie. They come somewhere on the understanding ground. And, you know, she leaves and kind of gives a blessing a little bit that she was okay with him. And, you know, he started talking to... Um, uh, Lucius and they started talking about them going out and what happened and what um, you know Andre had told him about you know being the big brother and taking the reins of the whole organization or the family or whatever and so something about that didn't sit well with Lucius do we see Cookie go outside um, the um, hall and she sees Terry sitting over there by herself and she just looked like she's in a daze or something like she about to start crying or whatever 
And, you know, she brought up the fact that when we was talking about kids and talking about marriage, it's like you was hesitant, like you're not saying nothing. And she was like, girl, bitch, I'm pregnant. Okay. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Cause she thought that she was about to say, if you can't, um, handle being with Andre anymore and because he's sick or whatever, you know, it's okay. You're not obligated to stay or whatever. It's okay to just let go. And she was like, no girl, I love him more than anybody that I ever thought that I could love a man, you know, but I'm pregnant, bitch. I ain't think this shit could happen. And I can't, you can't tell Andre. I don't want him to know yet. Okay. And so that's the secret that we're going to have to hold on to. And that makes it all the more fucked up because Lucius go out there to talk to Andre. Come to find out Andre is still sick. Andre has tried to treat one element and got another one. One severe thing for another severe thing. One thing that's threatening his life for another thing that's going to take his life. Okay. And what comes to find out is the cancer, I guess the chemo was working and, you know, trying to get in the drugs that he was taking since they were so intense, they damaged the um, muscle in his heart and it's irreversible and he needs a new heart or he's going to die in a couple of weeks. I said a couple of weeks and he said oh, a couple of months or something, whoever. I said, get the, what? Okay. And I was just sitting here like, damn, Andre, what the fuck? You can't catch a break this season. First, you was in jail. You get out of jail. You get sick. Now you sick her. Okay. But, um, to see Lucius just sitting there crying and stuff, I was like, oh, that shit touched me. That touched me. And then Andre just went off the deep end and was like, look, bitch, I'm going to die. Okay. And I'm going to die on my terms. I'm going to kill myself. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that, you know? And he was like, I'm going to live my life the way that I'm supposed to have been living my life. I'm going to die the way that I'm supposed to be living my life on my turn. I said, you know what, Andre? Ooh, you take stuff far and beyond. Like, damn. I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck, Andre? But um, we see next week he going to try to do some shit. And I'm just like, oh, Lord. That was um Empire, y'all. Tell me how y'all feel, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.